This morning we will take up three principal themes. The first is Rerum Navarum, the second is Harnack, the third is Rauschenbusch. If you look at the top left hand part of the screen you will see an image of Trevi Fountain, an image not to be forgotten. This is a representative of religious syncretism which indicates the ways in which the Roman Church was able to draw upon pagan religions and integrate the pagan traditions into Catholicism. In the modern venture, <clears throat> Leo XIII, in his great document encyclical, uh, Rerum Novarum, brings together the concerns of modern liberals and conservatives and uh, joins them under the rubric of the family and natural law so that the concern for the church is the well-being of the family as the fundamental unit of society. Harnack, if you look at the picture in the top right, is concerned with the essence of <clears throat> Christianity. The painting is the floor scrapers, indicating the peeling away of all accretions to an essence, which was a Harnack thought the historian needed to do in order to get to the truth of Christianity. For him, the essence was <clears throat> the inbreaking of the kingdom, the rule of God, and the fellowship of human beings. In the idiom of the day, it was the fatherhood of God and the brotherhood of man. Rauschenbusch, in like manner, sees an essence of Christianity, but for him, the effect of the personality of Jesus upon other people is not as was the case for Harnack, the impress of moral um, <clears throat> rectitude as much as it was for uh, Rauschenbusch, the impulse to build the kingdom. So it's not simply having those, that mind in you which was also in Christ Jesus, it is also going out into the world and building the kingdom. Uh, when we turn to Willard, you will see an interesting relationship with Bushnell and Coleridge about the animating power of the spirit to inform the letter. In Willard's case, we get an emphasis on the emancipatory dimension of the spirit. Those are the readings that we'll be looking at this morning. Have a good conversation.